But tell me this now, we're talking about film, and God, of course, nephew was watching Ryan's daughter, which you worked on, as you mentioned earlier. Um, but film tourism is a kind of a big thing too, because Ryan's daughter actually started the kind of the imagination of the American tourists coming to Ireland. I suppose, particularly Kerry, they used to be going up the west coast and to, uh, around the place before. But Borfalta, I suppose, really cashed in on this. Oh, figure they did, boy, yeah. So there were no Yanks around before, no. The only Yanks that used to come before were the, the lads that we knew over maybe in the 20s and the 30s. And they'd come back then in, in the 1950s and they'd have accents in them. And we'd call them Yanks. But they weren't Yanks at all. So they were taking Padre Donahue's crowd in. And then, then they all go over to America. They went over on the boat that, that left from Valencia that time. They went over, I don't know, it was 1928, I think. They all came back then around uh, 1960. They're all older, they're all families and everything, and they're shaking fine, quite pearly teeth and plenty of meat in their bones and wine. They're going around going, Oh, it's just lovely to see you all again. How are you getting on? We're like, Well, not too bad, don't know who I you. said. You, 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 you brought a new accent home with you this, this time? He said, Oh, I suppose when you're working on the buildings, you pick it up quite a lot. Uh, I'm sure that was, all, that was all in his head, too. Uh, you see, he'd come into the bar then in the evening time. And uh, you, 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 he drank away a few points. A nice man, in fairness. There, there, there was no badness in him. But uh, any time he'd, he'd, he'd be to the Ishkabaha at all, the accent to come back again, the, the normal accent, Padder. And Padder had a very kind of, he'd a very distinct way of talking too, like, you know. Like when he came back from the States, he was all, Oh, how are you getting on, guys? It's great to see you all so healthy and well. God bless you all. Uh, and then a couple of, couple of glasses of Jim Bean or, or, or a bit of Powers by and he'd be like, Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. I'm, I'm after coming back now when I'm supposed to go home now next week again. Back to fucking America. Yeah, sure he hated over that. Yeah. Did he? Yeah, he did, of course. Sure he was over that. On the building sites and they're working six days a week and they're 70, 80 stories up. God sake, and sure he get a nosebleed when he, was pa- when he passed the county bonds. That's right, yeah. All them crowd they said that they're... When they went over initially, like they would be writing home saying how good it was and how brilliant and that they had their own house and the weekends were brilliant. But sure, they were working like dogs. They were. Look, dogs all together by up, up, up the top of them bloody things and, and no safety or harnesses or nothing. I know how they didn't get killed. No, yeah, up there working away by in the, and, and, and if, in the summer time then and they, then they turn into dust with the heat. Yeah. Coming home and, and 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 telling us to get it was great and everything, but sure that's what they did back then. As then when when people would come home, say immigrants that went away and they came back for a brief holiday, they'd tell you how great they were doing. Oh, they had to, they had to like and I don't. I'm sure I did it myself. You come back from London, you come back there for Christmas or Easter or whatever, and you'd say, oh things are flying over and flat out by and saving now for a house and, and this that and the other. And you are in your bollocks or only walking week to week and you're trying to keep your head down and just. Keeping off appearances, like.